Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Julia and I love fragrances, I love talking about perfume, and I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and make sure to turn on notifications. Now, Elizabeth Arden has a little bit of a special place in my heart because I think the very first fragrance I ever purchased for myself was Elizabeth Arden Sunflowers. That was a big hit in the 90s. I think I've outgrown that scent, so I don't wear that anymore. Almost like a year ago, somebody suggested I try out the green tea range. They are very fresh scents and I tried um, the original green tea and I tried a few of the flankers and I think this is a really good range for a super affordable fragrance if you like fresh scents. So I kind of call these the poor man's or poor woman's aqua allegorias from Guerlain. I'm not saying that in a negative way because I personally own a bunch of these so you know, there's nothing wrong with owning them, but they kind of remind me of the Guerlain aqua allegoria, maybe to a slightly less high quality version, but they are so affordable and the Aqua Allegoria range from Guerlain, they make beautiful fragrances, but I feel like they're kind of expensive for what they are because they are beautiful and fresh, but they just, the longevity on them is not very good. Versus here, the Elizabeth Ardens, the longevity is also not incredible. These are not super long lasting fragrances, but they are so affordable and I really like them for a fresh pick me up. So I thought I would go over the ones that I have in my collection. First one that um, came out was of course the original green tea. This was actually designed by um, Francis Courtjean. He now has his own range and he makes very um, popular fragrances like Baccarat Rouge, Grand Soir, I'm sure you've heard some of those. Uplifting, energizing, bright, citrusy green scent. So green tea is obviously, you know, the whole range is called green tea because green tea is one of the major players in here. And it does have a tea scent, but it's not overpoweringly tea. Green tea can have a very, very strong scent. If you've ever taken just green tea leaves, you know, loose leaf green tea and smelled it, it does smell very strong. So this doesn't have a super, super strong green tea scent, but you can smell it in there. The top note on here is um, bergamot, caraway, rhubarb, lemon, and orange zest. The middle notes are green tea, peppermint, jasmine, carnation, fennel, and celery spice. And then the base notes are amber, oak moss, and musk. So the, the top notes I think are quite zesty. Like they have the orange, the lemon, and the bergamot. Those are all kind of considered very citrusy, like a very citrusy accord. I smell it like a little bit spicy, but it's not a super spicy fragrance. It just gives it a little bit more depth. And then the mid notes, you have the jasmine, which kind of gives it a little bit of a floral touch. And of course the green tea. This is just basically a very uplifting, fresh, bright fragrance that is super easy to wear. I actually do like to wear these fragrances mostly to the gym or sometimes just to a for a quick pick me up. Oh, I forgot something. I need to just go out and pick up some milk or I need to run to the grocery store or to the post office or something. And I will just grab one of these and just quickly throw it on before I head out the door. Just, it gives me that instant pick me up. It's a little bit zesty. It's bright and uplifting. They're very easy to wear. They're refreshing. The only thing is that the longevity on these is not amazing. I mean, they will last maybe one or two hours on me. They do last longer on clothes. I tend to just kind of douse myself with it, including here on my neck, but then also like on my clothes because my clothes will smell like it longer, much longer. They last fairly long on clothes actually. Even wear a few different ones throughout the day. You know, you can kind of like do this one in the morning, touch up with another one for lunch, and then maybe do a different one when you're heading to the gym in the evening. These are great gym scents, you guys. Like I said, not too intense, so they don't fill a room. That's really obnoxious when you're going to the gym and you're just wearing this super intense, like crazy fragrance. These just fit the bill perfectly. And because they're so affordable, I don't feel bad about wearing to the gym because like I'm just gonna be sweating and washing it off after in the shower. They have a bunch of flankers. They've just actually released a new flanker this year, which I really wanna try, which is a pear one. It's a green tea pear. When it comes into the stores here, I will definitely have a sniff at it because I love pear scents. This is the green tea cucumber. This one is super unisex. Um, oh, well, I forgot to mention the original one, the green tea, very, very unisex. 
men can definitely try these and wear these as well because they're not very they're not really sweet at all this one is also super unisex and this one has the added note of cucumber this is actually my second bottle i just recently repurchased this one i've already used quite a bit very cute like I, I really like these bottles. It smells very grassy almost. I really smell cucumber in here very strongly. That's like the main note I pick up is cucumber. And this is absolutely the perfect gym scent because it's refreshing. It almost has a little bit of a soapy vibe. Not soap, but more like shower gel type of vibe. Cucumber scented shower gels, I've seen those. Very fresh, very clean, cucumbery, uplifting, very green, a little bit of citrus. I've actually gotten compliments for this scent at the gym. Um, people say, oh, like you smell really good. The other one that I really enjoy from the range is this one. This is green tea nectarine blossom. And I would say of the ones I own, this is the most feminine one that I have because this has the added scent of a nectarine peach type of accord. This is really yummy. So the top notes in here are peach, green tea, bergamot, and exotic fruits. The mid notes are nectarine, peach floral, green tea leaves, and the base notes are musk. Apricotty kind of note in there as well. So it has those kind of fruits in there, those summery fruits. This is so gorgeous. If you enjoy peach scents, you will like this. If you don't want a peach scent that's too sweet it's like a fresh peach scent so it still has the uplifting and the zesty vibe of the original green tea and that green note is in there but the green note in here is less pronounced as the other two i just showed you and then another one that i have from them is the green tea tropical and this is the only flanker i think that doesn't really have a very interesting front it just has that leaf there's no design on it like all of them have some kind of a pretty design on them like this has the the, the blossom and you know this one is just a little bit boring this one is so good this one i also really really enjoy and this one just smells super tropical because i believe this has the passion flower note in there it smells very like passion fruit so additional to that um, green tea note it also has lychee and tropical fruit accord in there and the passion flower and magnolia just think of like a big basket of exotic fruit with lychees in there and the passion fruit type of accord in there if you enjoy tropical fruits then this is the one to go and it still has that lightness and airiness of the original green tea and the last one that i currently have in my collection is the elizabeth arden green tea yuzu and this is the only one that i really do not enjoy from the ones i own <laughs> you can see i have i have used it but barely because i've tried this a few times i've worn this a few times and something about this just does not mesh with me and which is very surprising because this one is supposed to be super citrusy because it contains yuzu. Yuzu is a type of grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, and vetiver. It has like a, a thyme note in there as well. So it has a slightly herbaceous vibe. When I bought this, I thought it'd be very just, yeah, citrusy. And I really enjoy citrus scents, but there's this very underlying very strange note in there that reminds me of vegetables it's a slightly rotting fruit like as if that yuzu has a slight mold spot on it or something this one has a very odd something it, it yeah like it just reminds me of vegetables gone bad if you have a compost at home like if you collect your compost in a little container to put out to your compost you know you put something in there and maybe you take a whiff of it like a few hours later it has like a very strange after note this doesn't even smell very citrusy to me i was thinking of putting in the bathroom as like an air freshener or something but even then like if i just spray this in the air let's just i mean it's okay maybe yeah i will just probably put it in my bathroom as an air freshener the other ones like i said that i have my eye on are the pear one i can't wait to smell that i probably think that that one is going to be a bit more sweet because pear tends to be quite sweet but we'll see so another one that i really want to try is the green tea summer um which also has the note of watermelon and then there's also passion fruit in there um, and there's a black currant note in there. There's a water lily note and a tangerine note. So that one actually sounds quite interesting, but I was thinking that that might smell a little bit similar to the green tea tropical. I don't know. Maybe when I use up the green tea tropical, I will try the green tea summer. If any of you guys have uh, tried that one, let me know if you enjoy it. These are just great 
quick, easy to wear pick me up scents. They're not super complicated. This is not, you know, the highest quality perfumery out there. I mean, the longevity, like I said, is not amazing, but you know, for running quick errands, for, you know, going to the gym, for quick out of the shower freshness. If you work in an office, you could have this in your drawer or at your desk and just when you're maybe feeling a little bit down or something, just spray it as a quick pick me up because they're very non-offensive. People generally like these kind of fresh, lighter scents. So let me know in the comments if you tried any of these from the range and which one is your favorite. I would love to know. You can post that below. Please don't forget to subscribe, um, turn on notifications for my channel. And you guys, before you leave, please leave a comment or give this video a thumbs up. It actually really does help my channel. I'm not just saying that. It helps my channel to grow and to get recommended to new viewers. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.